Welcome to Crazy Towns, 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite. Set Start the, the timer. timer. TNT. What up? What is Damn it. the worst way that you have ever been woken up from sleep? Or what would be the worst? I guess we'll go with what's the worst way you've ever been woken up in your whole <laughs> life? And what would maybe be worse than that? What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't freaking know, dude. I guess my sleep paralysis demon. Have you? Have you like oh. that was pretty freaking bad. That sucked. Wait a second. I don't. I, I throw. Wow. Okay. What do you mean? Wow, dude. Yeah. You don't have a sleep paralysis demon. No, I've heard of that though. You have. I've heard. heard of, I've heard of sleep paralysis. Have you ever seen anything like weird? No, I've never like, woke up and not been able to move. Uh, okay. Well, yeah. I, I would say is that that kind of sucks. Like, I feel like I've seen stuff. I've, I've said this in other episodes, but I feel like I've seen, like, dark figures, like, hovering above my bed, and I could not move, and that was that, that whole sleep paralysis demon. So, yeah, that kind of sucked because it's always stuck in my head, and it only happened, like, maybe, like, once or twice in my life. So, like, you open your eyes, and you see, like, a dark figure, but you can't move. You yeah. can't, So, you think, are you awake, or do you think, are you thinking you're awake, and you're really still sleeping? It's hard to tell the difference, and I don't know if it matters because you feel like you're awake. So <laughs> even if it's like lucid or not even lucid dreaming, but dreaming to the point where you're like, you know, yeah, it's I'm the thing awake. we've all had a dream and you wake up and go, did that happen to me or did I dream that? Yeah. But like in your, in your mind, it was like, it was, you yeah. were awake. And this is happening. real. It is happening and your life is in danger as well. Yeah. As I had a girl I worked with that talked about waking up and sleep paralysis and whatever, like, yeah. and it was, she yeah. talked about it being nasty and awful too. I was one time I was a child and I was in the hospital mm -hmm. And they woke me up by sticking some tube in my nose because my nose was so clogged up with, like, stuff. They were, like, sucking out my sinuses or something crazy. And I was – I remember – to this day, I'm an old man now. Like, it was like – I don't know. I must have been really ill because I figured that's not something they do all the time. And no. there would have been a reason they woke me up from that. Okay. So I don't know what that's used for, but I remember it being – Awful because all of a sudden it was like a machine it with a hose in my yeah. nose, like it sucking sounds, out my yeah, sinuses. It sounds like it was just a suctioner, man. They use them with trachs and stuff. Now that you bring it up, I had a similar thing where uh, I was gonna, I was they were actually gonna intubate me where they like put the tube Holy, in your throat. The, like, that's like you're in real bad shape, then, dude. I don't know. I was over freaking uh, Z's house, uh huh. And for some reason, I just felt like ill. I got sick. He ended up taking me home and I threw up and I laid down. And then next thing I know, I'm in the freaking hospital and they're trying to stick a tube in my throat. What is this? My mom is crying and shit. Like, how old were you? I was probably like 17, 16. Oh, my God. So, like, yeah. So, wow. 15, That's crazy. Maybe. Yeah. There, I'm trying to think if there's any other times I've woke up to like. Like, uh, it's just, yeah, being woke up suddenly is like the worst. I've definitely woken up. Oh, I remember one time I was sleeping and my parents, this was like, Ooh, I was like maybe like 11 or 12 when this happened. Parents come banging on the door. There's a freaking fire in the apartment below us. So obviously like everybody had to evacuate. We actually had no damage by the end of it, but. There yeah, well, it's a dangerous thing if your apartment below you is on fire. It's, it's yeah. good. Fire goes up. Exactly. Yeah. That's what we were thinking, too. One uh, one time on uh, when I lived in Cleveland before I moved to Austin, Christmas Eve at like 3 o'clock in the morning, the fire alarm went off in the building. We all had to leave the building and go stand outside. There's like kids and ish standing mm. around, dude. 3 o'clock in the morning on Christmas Eve. Mm. You know how many parents were pissed? pissed because mm. like they did like i was like what the hell is happening you know you hear the fire alarm going off that's the worst that's um, the i'm trying worst. to think has anyone ever woke has anyone ever woke you up like so so something's happening you know like something like that nah, to, no why I, i'm not gonna i'm not the person you want to come and get if there's like something going down <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being real. I, you don't want me. I'm not going to be in of any assistance, especially a dead out of sleep. No, just go find somebody else to do it. <laughs> like, why would you pick me of all people? Yeah. yeah like, I'm, yeah. Like, I'm going to, I can call 911. I'm going back to sleep. Like, yeah. I'm not the one to help in the emergency situation. I'm I think. Uh, incapable. Thank you. I think one of the worst ways to be woken up is, like, have somebody, maybe, like, you're sleeping. Somebody kicks your damn door in on your house. Like, you hear, like, someone <laughs> breaking into your home. Like, the ATF just comes well, and no, breaks well, into no, your Or, like, or someone coming in to get you or whatever. Like, a home invasion. <laughs> what? Like, that would be scary as ish, right? You, you wake up to hearing, like. 
boom, boom, and like you hear your door fly open, dude. Oh man, I, yeah. I would pee my bed. <laughs> like I would just be so frightened. Dude. Or would, would you grab your gun and open fire? Just yeah, just start shooting through the door like Oscar like, like, Pistorius. Oh, it was the police, and then they're like, "Oh, we'll shoot you." <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I mean, it happened. It does. It, it does. no, it did. Yeah, it, it did. did. Yeah. It did happen for sure. For sure. And see, and that's why, like, I don't, I don't want to say if me and Jonas own a weapon, but I do advocate for people owning a weapon in their home. Absolutely, I will say that much. Yeah, it's yeah. because somebody might break into your house. Like, who's going to break into here? We ain't got nothing to steal. Well, right, and we live in a in a gated community, so yeah. like, I mean, obviously, yeah, obviously, you yeah. can't just you're going to climb the twenty foot gate to get in yeah, here. You're going to jump over the alligator pit. You're going to go across the lava. I mean, right? come on, right? Like, who's going to get in here anyway? <laughs> the, the herds of guard dogs. I, I know, mean, I know they travel in packs, but we have herds. My forty inch LCD big. TV from two thousand nine is oh. a very high high market value. Yeah. You, like them. <laughs> you know, I have like, I seriously have like, you know how like you have like those visions of like if something were to go down, what you would do? When yeah, you're yeah. Just, you're just lying to yourself, basically. Oh yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, I wish some motherfucker would do something. I'll kick his ass. I have pictures and images and like little fantasies about me seeing like the front door open and somebody just carrying out like my sixty inch TV <laughs> and me just like unloading like blows, just like <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Just like put placing my TV, like unloading the blows, making them drop the TV. TV, stopping the blows, catching the TV, setting it down, and continuing the blows. These are the fantasies I dream about. So you fantasize about blowing people. Yep. <laughs> no, Jonas, I don't fantasize about blowing people. Thank you. I was proud of that one. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. Good. I don't even know what the hell made me think of that. But like, yeah, dude, being woken up out of sleep suddenly sucks. Man, it does. It does. Um, I can't think of the last time that's happened to me. Thank God, because it hasn't happened in a very long time. No, yeah, like I've I've woken. I think like woken up. Waking up late for work sucks. Like you wake up and you're like, yeah. See, I was gonna say that. I was gonna say that. Like waking up and thinking that it's a time that it's not. Like I feel like every time I wake up out of sleep, I'm checking my phone in a panic. No, oh, I, every I have to have a clock in my room because I have to wake up and know what time it is. Because like for some reason I wake up and I'm like, what time is it? Like yeah, it's like yeah, I don't know yeah, if I need yeah, to know yeah. like I didn't miss something or I need to know how much sleep I got left or yeah. like or what the. It's funny because I have a clock, but I always go for my phone. Like I wake up and I, like immediately I'm like, the hell time is it? I'm like, is that PM or AM? It takes my mind a second. Like okay, it's AM. And yeah, then, like, right. Then, okay, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I go dude, it's, sleep, it's, it's weird. Or what day is it? That that's a big one for me. Well, so. yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I've I've definitely woke up on a weekend and thought I was late for work. And then I'm like, oh, it's Saturday. I don't work today. Okay. But then you like almost startle yourself and then you can't go back yeah. to sleep. <laughs> like, God damn, gave myself a little mini heart attack. <laughs> right. You're all like, bub, 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 bub. I'm, I'm oh, sleep oh, now. Okay. Oh, you're, oh damn. It's, uh, oh, oh, I'm over here oh. beating at 140 <laughs> RPMs. Right. You know, I actually did have one time where uh, I woke up in one of those panics and. I didn't have, well, no, I think I had like a clock, like a, like a clock. I looked at that and I saw that said five o'clock and I think I had to be to work at like five, six o'clock, seven o'clock in the morning. So I immediately was like, oh, sh I got to go to work. I got to, but at this point in time in my life, I was taking a bus. I would take a bus to a train to another bus to get to my job. So I get myself a look. I grab my books just in corner to see the bus, the bus fly by. Aww. I catch the next bus because, you know, it's all right. And I end up making it from that bus, get on the train, make it all the way to downtown Tower City. And then I realized that it was 6 p.m. and not 6 a.m. Oh, my God. It took you that long to realize that? I was, dude. I'm sure you were in a bad mood. I, I mean, was, you're, you were probably, you're a very mellow person. You tried to let your mood, like, affect you very much most of the time. Mm. If I did that, I, I would be upset with myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, you know, I look myself in the mirror every day and I say, I can't stay mad at you. <laughs> Aw, that's a great way to end the episode. That's all the time we've got for today. Please go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we are out.